Hello everybody, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ to you. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video response to The Trinity is a False Teaching by G. Hutzel. Let's get to work. This is absolutely false. Uh, if you look up the word Trinity in Wikipedia, here's what comes up. Now, I don't recommend Wikipedia as your authority to it. Look at these verses up for yourselves in the scripture just to make sure that maybe I'm lying. Maybe the Trinity isn't in the Bible. See for yourself. Matthew 3, 16 to 17. As soon as Jesus Christ was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and landing on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. These same, the same event is recorded in Mark 1, 10-11, Luke 3:22, and John chapter 1, 32. Matthew 28, verse 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> this is just commentary. Um, 2 Corinthians 13 and 14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 1 John 5, verse 7 and 8. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Now, the Word of God is Jesus, and you'll see that in John 1, verse 1. And there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. Luke 1, 35, The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God. Hebrews 9.14 How much more, then, will the blood of Christ, who, through the eternal Spirit, offered himself unblemished to God, cleanses our consciousness from acts that lead to death, so that we may serve the living God? Acts 7, verse 55 But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. This was right before he was killed. Uh, Isaiah 9, chapter 6, the prophecy about the Messiah, written hundreds of years before he was born. For to us, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. A child being called everlasting father this is why we say that they are one John 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God together with God John 1 verse 14 the word became flesh and made himself dwell dwelling among us we have seen his glory the glory of the one and only who came from the father full of grace and truth and John 1.18, no one has, seen, has ever seen God, but God, the one and only, who is, the Father's, who is at the Father's side, has made him known. The Bible says, God, the one and only, in the New International Version. Furthermore, John 5.21, for just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son gives life to whom he is pleased to give it. And of course, there's many references. I could go on for quite a long time about all of these. Uh, about God alone being the Savior. I, even I, am the Lord. And apart from me, there is no Savior. And so we see, Then said 
to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard ourselves, and we know that this man, Jesus, really is the Savior of the world. Titus 3.6 Whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Uh, furthermore, God appearing as a man is not contradictory to the faith of Abraham because you see that the Lord God appeared to Abraham as a man. And you can read about that in G the book of Genesis. Um, you can see God as a man walking in the Garden of Eden. You see God giving the Ten Commandments to Moses and writing them on the tablets of stone. Now, it's interesting that, uh, you know, this is a Muslim making this video and they say, well, Jesus can't be God because Jesus became, because Jesus is a man. You can't say God became a man. Yet they forgot that their God has a leg. According to the Quran, your God has a leg and he has eyes and hands. The day the shin shall be laid bare and they shall be summoned to bow down in adoration, but they shall not be able. Surah 68, 68 verse 42. And here's the interpretation of that. You are not our Lord, and none will speak to him then but the prophets. And then it will be said to them, Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say the shin. And so Allah will uncover his shin, whereupon every believer will prostrate. Narrated by Abi Sahid al-Kudri, volume 9, book 93, number 469. Here is from Sahih Bukhari, the most authentic book next to the Quran, the most important book next to the Quran in Islam for both Sunni and Shia. Then the Almighty will come to them in the shape other than the one which they saw the first time, and he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, You're not our Lord, and none will speak to speak to him then but the prophets. And then it will be said to them, Do you know any sign by which you can recognize him? They will say, The shin, and so Allah will then uncover his shin, whereupon every believer will prostrate before him, and there will remain those who use to prostrate before him just for showing off and for gaining good reputation. Sahih al-Bukhari, book 9, sorry, volume 9, book 93, number 532. You forget about that. So, your God Allah, is his leg attached to a body? Or do you just worship a leg and your God is a leg? And it's interesting, too, that Jesus says, when you worship the unseen Father, when you worship God who you cannot see, do it in a closed room where nobody will be seeing you, and you'll see your Father who is unseen. You will be worshiping your Father who is unseen, rather. And to do this in spirit and in truth, because God is spirit. According to Islam, Allah is not a spirit. He is a physical body. You Muslims have a hypocrite, are hypocrites and have double standards on everything that you judge against Christianity.